This is serious stuff. A government body, the Electoral Commission, taking to court the government party. Today's application stems from hotel bills and other papers that this program obtained earlier this year exposing undeclared Conservative spending in South Thanet at last year's general election and in three by-elections the year before. In those contests, we found more than £100,000 in all spent on hotel bills which weren't declared on the party's legal expense returns. He's legged it. He's walked off the other way. He's a cop. The Electoral Commission announced an investigation into our findings. What's more, the Conservative chairman assured me his party would cooperate fully with that. I think it's very important that you allow them to... Uh, to carry out their job and do things in the proper way and we will of course do everything we can to cooperate with them and give them all the information that they need. And yet today the Commission announced the Tories hadn't complied with two disclosure orders they'd issued seeking documents and information. One in February was partly answered they say, a second in March not at all. Deadlines came and went and today the Commission lost patience announcing we are today asking the court to require the party to fully disclose the documents and information we regard as necessary to effectively progress our investigation into the party's campaign spending returns. The Electoral Commission are being surprisingly assertive in this dispute given that they want more powers from the Conservative government and of course depend on them for money. The Conservatives say they told the Commission a fortnight ago that they'd produce the documents by one o'clock today. The Electoral Commission flatly deny that. They say they weren't told that by the party. Anyway, some documents did arrive this lunchtime and the Commission have spent the afternoon going through them to make sure they're what they asked for. The Commission will no doubt then decide whether they need to proceed with the High Court application. I, Alison Hernandez of Torbay. Meanwhile, it's been announced that West Mercia Police will now investigate Alison Hernandez, who was sworn in on Tuesday as Police and Crime Commissioner of Devon and Cornwall, giving her oversight of the local force there. Ms Hernandez, who was Tory agent in Torbay last year, was implicated in this programme's recent investigations into the Conservative Battle Bus project which shipped Tory volunteers to help candidates in marginal seats. We don't think she's affected, though, by today's Electoral Commission court request. Well, it's a storm in a team cup, if, if I'm really honest. You know, let's be honest, this is politically motivated. I'm very calm about the whole thing. I have nothing to hide. We were also told today that Ms Hernandez will be investigated, too, by the Independent Police Complaints Commission.